going on everyone michael back with another video in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a calendar within sharepoint this is helpful for if you want to track events or pretty much anything you need a calendar for so let's go to the main sharepoint page and your sharepoint will look different the title will look different but it's all the same so you want to click on new click on app and then you want to click on classic experience and locate the calendar. All right, so you want to give your team a name. I'm just going to name this. I mean, you want to give your calendar a name. I'm just going to name this team calendar. Go ahead and press create. And so it will take you to the site content page after you create the calendar. So we'll go ahead and click on the calendar we created. All right, before we do anything, I actually do want to add this to the site navigation so it makes easy access for your team to um, be able to locate the calendar. So go ahead and copy the hyperlink at the top. Control C works. If not, uh, you can right click copy. And the navigation bar is on the left hand side, so we'll go ahead and click on edit. And you want to hover over the most bottom one and click on the plus. So make sure it's selected as a link. Remove the free default text. And if you don't, it will, will give you a broken link. So make sure you move that. Display name, we'll name this team calendar. All right. So if we go ahead and click on this, it should take us to the calendar. And there we go. So this is a nice little calendar you can use. Uh, to add new events, you want to click on new. I mean events, then new event. Let's say Friday, fun day. And we want this to go from Friday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Party in the break room. Get together. All right, and so we just added an event. And on default, anyone that's an owner or a member of your site will be able to add events to your calendar. So you can, that's pretty much it. To add a calendar, it's super simple. And if you want to connect it to your Outlook, you can go ahead and click on Connect to Outlook. I will go ahead and press it. And it will give you this option to connect to this SharePoint calendar to Outlook. I'll press Yes. And then uh, it will give you the new calendar. And as you can see, we have Fun Day Friday located on the calendar. So I guess I will show you how to edit the permissions if only owners want to be able to add events. So. You want to go into the calendar tab, press on list settings, permissions for this list. And as you can see, we are currently inheriting the parent site's permissions. So if you want to break the permissions, you have to click on stop inheriting permissions, which we do because we only want the owners to be able to add events and not the members of the site. So we will go ahead and click on the members. Edit user permissions, switch it from edit to read, click on OK, and now only the owners will be able to add new events. And that will be all for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice little simple SharePoint tutorial for y'all. And uh, yeah, have some fun with it, and I'll catch you in the next video.